three campaign tactics were the main topics in the 20th Democratic debate Tuesday night. Barack fought back and forth over words and misquoted ideas, and Clinton even mocked Obama's campaign slogan of hope. Obama shot back saying hope wasn't enough and attacked Clinton's fared, failed early 90s health care reform plan. He still leads in delegates, and a strong showing on March 4th could signal the end of the race for the nomination. Another nominees that won big time were the four non-Americans at the Oscars. Let's see why. It all started with Javier Bardem. This is for Spain, he said, accepting the Best Supporting Actor award for his role as a killer in No Country for All Men. He became the first Spanish actor ever to win an Oscar. Then the British actress Tilda Swinton won for her role as a heartless lawyer in Michael Clayton. Best Actress went to French star Marion Cotillard for her portrayal of singer Edith Piaf in La Vie en Rose. Best Actor went to British Daniel Day-Lewis for There Will Be Blood. The last time four non-Americans won all four Best Acting Honors back in 1965. Today, more than four decades later, it's clear European talent is a force in Hollywood. But does it really mean that industry is changing? The ongoing presidential race, Republicans and Democrats are coming together to investigate Roger Clemens. For more, we turn to our own Joey LaFaro with sports and weather. Joey, what do you have for us today? Thanks, James. Wednesday, Democrat Henry Waxman and Republican Tom Davis both signed off on a letter to Attorney General Michael Mukasey to start an investigation into whether Clemens is guilty of perjury. This is in response to comments made to the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform February 13th. If indicted, Clemens could face jail time if it's determined that he has in fact taken performance-enhancing drugs, an accusation that to this day he denies. NJCAA basketball season is entering tournament play this weekend. Last weekend, Montgomery College saw its Germantown and Rockville men's and women's teams fall in the second round of the Maryland JUCO tournament. Now all three will have one last shot to make this season last a little longer. This weekend, we'll, the teams will converge on Hagerstown Community College for the Region 20 tournament. Well, they'll each have a shot for a national title. Action kicks off at 4 p.m. today when the Knights men team takes on Westmoreland Community College. Basketball isn't the only thing to watch this weekend. Tonight's the Capitals will take the ice with a few new faces. Among them will be former Blue Jacket Sergei Fedorov, who at age 38 has three Stanley Cup wins, a tradition he hopes to bring to the Capitals. Fedorov and new goalie Cristobal Huey hope to help the Caps go from an up-and-coming young team to a major playoff contender. The first chance for them to prove it will come tonight against the New Jersey Devils at 6 p.m. And now for a little weather. It's been cold all week, but the weekend shows a promise of some better weather. Today the highs will reach into the mid-40s and it'll be mostly cloudy all day. And be prepared for rain. There's a 50% chance of showers in the afternoon. Saturday we'll have partly cloudy skies with highs in the mid-40s. As well on Sunday you'll see a little more of the sun and it'll be mostly sunny with temperatures rising into the low 50s. Temperatures on Monday will rise even higher, giving the new week a good start. So it uh, should be a pretty good weekend. Oh, thanks for that input there, Joey. Uh, thanks for watching MC in Focus. I'm James McLean. And I'm Roxana Solano, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. See you next Friday. Looks like it's going to be a pretty nice weekend, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, what do you have for